The Clayman Institute for Gender Research at Stanford University, creating a more equal society for women and men through data-driven research and public education. I think uh, most changes in, in the field of IT uh, had been in the field of business uh, applications applications for business but there is another chance too for uh, filling the gap between the family at the, on the one hand and the business and the professional working place on the other hand would be also a wonderful possibility for IT and I think there is really a need that you have the possibility to communicate in a very easy way with your child with your older pe uh, people at home and stay at work and do your professional work on your working place you have to think about other ways to take care for elder people, for children, to, to keep in touch with them in a very easy way to keep in touch, uh, to come into contact when there is an emotional need for the elder people again, or for young children. I would like to speak with my mother or with my father. I think what, what engineers has to learn or have to learn is that there is a need for the accessibility and uh, for a really easy way for example older women to understand how to use technology that they would like to have new technologies for example to be able to stay at home for a longer time it's quite obvious and for that you can get a lot of data and the other big 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 thing is car industry mm -hmm. So the only um, increasing market for cars are the women, once again. And uh, at the moment, 30% of the cars in Germany are owned by women, car holders are women, but uh, more or less every young woman is owner of a driving license, only 30% of women above 70 are owner of driving licenses so it's quite obvious that this is the only growing market and <laughs> all the companies are looking for good opportunities good chances to address that market and it's not the pink car they know already and it's not only the small car you can use as your city car because more and more women earn more and more money and they would like to have a car they would like to have and not their husbands would like to. And uh, wonderful, wonderful uh, example. Um, when you try to buy a car as a woman and take your husband or your boyfriend with you, he will get the explanation about the car. You are allowed to, do, to decide about the color of the car, not more. <laughs> also, when you would like to buy the car, and I think this is really something which have to change in the head of the people. It's, it's great because we always look to the US telling everybody, oh, they are much faster and far away from us. We have to go that way. And Londa told me, hmm, we are looking the other way around. <laughs> so I think it's a big chance to work together in this field and also uh, a good opportunity really to bring this gender into the field of engineering and also I hope in the field of innovation. <laughs> At Fraunhofer we don't have so many women. It's an engineering um, company or an engineering, an institute coming from engineering so there aren't so much women. But there are more than female students in mechanical engineering or electrical engineering and when you look very close where they are working then it's in the field of solar industry it's in the field of uh, math applied math it's in the field of uh, engineering for elder care so especially this fields where you have a very strong combination with environment or with really people's need you have a lot of women Therefore, I'm quite sure when you are integrating gender aspects in a close way, you will attract more female students. It's not only 
that you attract more women uh, for engineering, studying engineering, but it's also when you address much more concrete the needs of people, you would also increase the interest in technological products, in new techniques. And I think that's necessary because especially in developed countries like the US, like you're in Europe, there isn't so much interest to have new technologies. And uh, when you address much more the interests of the people, and especially for women, I'm absolutely sure that you can also increase the interest in new technologies.